Hello, digital card fighters. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you another day one deck profile. Today, I know I've been doing a lot of Digimon, but again, Digimon is a really good hot spot right now, so we have to cover it. So let's go over what the biggest deck of the format could be if you play it correctly. So let's talk about bugs. The bugs have arrived in Vanguard Zero. So with bugs let's go over the deck list real quick and just explain what are some of our choices and hopefully you pick along with it first off we have a brand new starter with machinings little b so put this unit into soul to stand one of your rested rear guard machining rear guards and draw a card this unit gets plus three thousand until the end of turn soul blast two to put this card into soul from the drop zone really nice if they ever retire it you can put it back in and then just call it to be able to be put into soul for future resources. Next, we play Black Soldier for the fact of the front row. It gains 3,000. Becoming a 10k swinger sometimes does help out in the long run. Then we do play our Machining Taurus. So it's a bug, of course. So when this unit boosts the Machining, the attack hits a Vanguard. Paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards. That becomes very important. We're going to put this behind the Vanguard. We could play other cards to do what we need to, but we also play the Paralyzing Mandoa because, again, it's a great PG that we need. Next, we do play Toxic Soldier for the fact of the matter this unit can ignore intercepts when attacking. Very powerful skills because, again, we won't, if we can paralyze our opponent's rear guards, then they can't do anything, and sometimes even just paralyzing the Vanguard is just enough to prevent them from killing us. So let's let's do a quick overview why is this deck so good so first off we have unraveling blade rogue um cycle tooth cycle tooth is really nice because when rode upon your vanguard gets plus 1000 until the end turn and paralyze all your opponent's units including the vanguard at the start of your opponent's next rifle your opponent may discard a card from the hand if not this if not discarded your opponent cannot normal ride during their ride phase so again usually they will discard and sometimes they can't discard anything else so they are forced to either not ride or they discard anyway so during your turn if all your opponent's units are rested it gets plus 3000 becomes a 14k swinger really nice it's not the reason why we also have very fearful units so first off here is the newest card to this deck and what makes this deck very interesting so machine spark hercules hercules so if all your opponent's units are rested, counterblast two to paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards. This unit gets plus 10,000 and a crit. Really nice, really much our PG checker that we needed. So Soul Blast one, rest all your opponent's rear guards. This unit gets plus 2,000 until the end of turn. Call a machining from Soul as rest. This unit ignores intercept and paraly of paralyzed rear guards when attacking. This is very important because again, if we can paralyze their grade twos, this can still swing on Vanguard or Rear Guard to hit. So again, sometimes being able to hit them with effects similar to this Toxic Trooper is really nasty and the opponent really doesn't like you doing this. Next, we do play Machining War Sickle. So when this unit attacks a Vanguard, just Counter Blast 2 to paralyze your opponent's a Vanguard. Again, War Sickle is going to be like your main winning image. You want to be on War Sickle because, yeah, making them constantly have to pay for a cost to do what they need to to be able to ride their vanguard is nasty especially with limit break era we have to prevent stuff like this this unit ignores intercept of paralyzed rear guards when attacking really nice again we do play units to paralyze next we do have undefeated unit um alvato zeus so counter blast two to get plus 1000 until you enter and paralyze one of your opponent's van um rear guards when this unit retires place retire all including your grade one or less rear guards so if our opponent is building a back row flooded form again this card used to be fantastic when rookie rush was a thing back in the old days being able to just play this and retire their whole board basically leaving their just vanguard they have to fill back up they don't like that then we also play one machining stag beetle just because i don't have our spark hercules at a full playset we'll have that in a few days but yeah that'll become the full playset 
And as I talk, Toxic Trooper is here to ignore intercepts, so more attacks at the Vanguard, more lethal. We play Machining Mantis. When this unit is placed, if you have a Machining and Soul, this unit gets plus 3,000. So becoming a 12k on your turn, and easier to achieve than having to be on Machining, because again, if we're on this, we don't gain the power. So I only play one Red Soldier besides only just pulling one. I might bump them up to two, just to slim down. Machining Palalo is really nice. I play it because, again, on place Paralyze is just nasty, and opponents don't like it when that happens because then your Vanguard can get just those free swings in that they just don't like you having. And then we have Machine Armor Beetle. So when placed, put one of your other rear guards in the soul to paralyze one of your opponent's rear guards just to fill up the soul. So when you do ride our Warsicle or if we do ride stag beetle we just get a nice well-rounded call turn so and then at least being able to restand our grade two with machining little b is really really good because now you get a plus one just for restanding and doing what your deck wants to so let's dive into the fight and let's see what we can do boys and girls maybe i'll explain some cards that you get to put back Again, I've been just climbing rank. I just got the Legend 1 with it. It's really nasty. The decks overcoming weaknesses gotta be the fact of the matter is you do have to deal with Pale Moon. And Link Joker sometimes can just outclass you. So let's see what happens. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. It does help me and the algorithm. It's let's see what happens here. Ooh. We could put Toxic Beetle. We're going first. So let's hope we get that grade one. Just so this becomes a little bit beefier. But a 9k is still a 9k. What the frig is going on? Okay. He's going to draw two. It looks like he is playing Gold Paladins, of course. Holy, when this unit is boosted, did a unit with Limit Break put this unit into Soul to draw a card? Okay. So we're just going to keep that at bay. Keeping a starter from being able to plus one is sometimes. Ooh, we're gonna punish that ever so slightly ever so slightly you took away our grade three hmm now nah, i wish my grade zero wasn't there yeah that's fine we'll work with it again we can just work with it so first off we're just going in I kind of wish I had a trigger on that, but he's going to hit his defensive like always. Oh, not bad. Kind of wish this was reverse just to have him into soul and then I had the intercept ignore. Ew. Okay. I don't know what he's thinking. Really don't. Because I can just Warsicle and do this twice until I get the grade 3 I want. So let's, let's go free paralyzation. Boop. Nice. We got a nice break right off of that deal. So we'll just keep that grade two a little bit at bay. He can get his counter charge off if he wants. That's not a big deal. So we'll just make sure that he keeps that grade two in the back all day long. Ah, uh, uh, that was a bait and switch. Probably should have went with the draw one, but that's fine. Okay, regular Zell. Ew. Give me another grade two. Watch what happens, boys. I'm just gonna lock his whole board. I'll bring him to five all I care. Draw your card. We're just gonna go swinging. Lock a lock a lock a lock a lock. So this boost. We have this. Give us another machining, please. Intercepting NAR is not bad. But I need this to go into soul. So we're gonna ride skip. I'm gonna get a grade two out of this deal. 
Battle. 17. This hits for 15. No defensive, please. Are you freaking kidding me? I do hate... I hate sometimes gold paladin players. They're cheating. They really do get way too many triggers that they shouldn't. His hand's way too full for this BS. Phew. Oh, really, dude? Like, seriously? Are you not gonna cheat? He's trying to one punch me. That's not going to work. Nice try, though. Nabs RPG, though. That's fine. He kept the seal there. That's what I wanted. So. Let's bias a turn, shall we? And that's what I mean by bias a turn. So... 15. Can't hit. I need. I needed one more seven k in the back there. That's fine. Though. Oh, he can ignore the gray twos. You cannot. Power. Heal trigger. Nice. We're gonna hit hard. Nice, nabbing that PG out of the game. So again, either he's got to pay the cost, just the superior ride over this, is fine by me. So if he... Ooh! Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to get a multi-attack out of this deal. Going in once, twice, not enough, bud. He's got... Oh. Ooh. I see what he's doing there. I see you, boo. I see you, boo. So, uh, what is he gonna do? He's hitting- he's hoping for a stand trigger out of this? Wait, what? Oh. Okay, cool. Cool. But, next turn, we got him hard. Nice! Oh my goodness, we're double war stagging. Like, wasn't expecting that, boys, but yeah, sure, let's double war stag. So, he's only got two PGs. Wish I had something else. But, we're gonna swing in. One... Two. Yep. Called it. Cool. Let's go. He has no way of having enough resources to continue this. There's no way. No way. Giving up that many. He had another Zenith. Sure. Nine cards left in deck. Oh my goodness. Swings in with that. That's fine. I'm very upset he had another Zenith in hand. 
That's just BS right there. I had him locked down the whole game. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's BS right now. Hit me a heal, hit me a heal, hit me a heal. Yes! Six damage heal, boys and girls. That's what I'm talking about. You're now getting punished. Do I sacrifice all my grade ones at this point? Yes, I do. Because I don't care. He's dead. And now let's call Popolopicus. He has nothing left. Let's go. Boom. Six damage heal for the win, boys and girls. You gotta love it. Clean win right there, boys. Again, I know it didn't do much, but again, being able to do Wartooth and then even Deathsicle, that's basically what you're doing the whole time is using war tooth war tooth war tooth war tooth to keep the board at a bay and being able to keep them rested and forcing them to discard a card on top of it for them to ride up is sometimes really nasty and they can't handle that combo so again not really bad in the play we had a lot to worry with we didn't have enough pgs that six damage heal definitely saved us for that win but guys hopefully you like this video like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one peace